Sparkle Death Central. Your sparkle shines. We're ready, Professor Palladium. Let the simulation begin. These hollow virtual projections are drawn from actual memories of fairies. Now then, girls, you're about to learn the history from the Hunters of the Black Circle. That's Erd! You're right, Tecna. Their story begins in the human world. In a time when Earth's energy was in the magical hands of fairies. And they would dispense that energy through air, water, and fire. But that ended when four men arrived. The Wizards of the Black Circle. That's them! We want a rematch. Yeah. Calm down. You must learn about your enemies before you can defeat them. Their dark magic is almost impossible to defeat. These wizards created a spell which protected them from the fairies' magic. They would catch fairies and steal their wings and take their powers. Ugh! One by one, the fairies of Earth were defeated, and with each fairy they destroyed, Ogun and the Wizards of the Black Circle became more powerful. No one could beat them? There must be a way! Maybe an encoded spell. Morgana, the Queen of the Earth Fairies, tried that. But even she was defeated, and not even the major fairies, the supreme guardians of nature's forces, could beat the Wizards of the Black Circle. Ogun had won, and magic on Earth disappeared. This is horrible, I... I always grew up hearing fairy stories, but never anything terrible like this one. That's because humans soon forgot about us. We became nothing more than storybook figures read about in fairy tales. But without fairies, who protected the world from darkness? Nobody, and the human world with no protection slipped into chaos, war, and intolerance. If we find those four guys again, we're gonna rewrite history and make them part of the past. The only chance to defeat them is to make humans believe in magic again, but even if that happens, the wizards will not be easy to beat. Maybe so, but they already made one mistake by revealing something. That we're six weakling fairies? No, now we know that the wizards of the Black Circle are on their way to Earth. There's still one fairy left there, so we know where we can find them. If the Wizards of the Black Circle capture this last Earth Fairy, they will become too powerful to ever defeat. You girls must find her first. Earth is a really big planet! True, but, but you grew up there, Bloom. So where do you think we should start to look? I'm not sure where to start, but she'll need our help, and we have to find her as fast as possible. We're all with you, Bloom. When do we leave? We have to pack. What Earth season is it now? Before you make your preparations, you may just want to say hello to someone who came a long way just to see you. Brandon! <laughs> Straight from Red Fountain, the specialists are here and at your service. Nabu. Aisha, we heard about the Dark Wizards attack at Althea. Are you okay? We wanted to come sooner, but... What matters is that you're here now. I'm so happy to see you, Helia. Not as happy as I am to see you. So tell me, Stella, are those guys as tough as they say they are? Not just tough, but terrifying! Bad hair, unwashed nails, scary. Well, 
they're gone now, so no worries. And all that matters is that in the end, you guys won, and they did it. Oh sure, if you call them walking away from six fairies, knocked on the ground, helpless, winning, then I winning guess. Winning when you can rise from a defeat and plan victory with people who believe in you. Really well said, Riven. Tell me, did you come up with that all by yourself? Hey, how can you diss me like that? Okay, Helia wrote it for me. You know he's better at saying those kind of things. Yep. <laughs> hey, Timmy, what's going on? Oh, there's a face error in section 1701. It looks like a distortion at a submolecular level. An unusual but a rare anomaly of the transdimensional inject. The self-diagnosis system of the ship should reset itself automatically. Estimated time for the operation? One minute. Considering the length of our conversation is right about... Now! Hmm. Hey, so why the sad face, Blue? Come on, Brandon. I mean, duh. Obviously, she misses Sky. Well, I guess I'm getting used to it. Since this whole king and training thing began, Sky hasn't had time for me, but I understand. He's a busy guy now. He has responsibilities, protocol, all that boring palace stuff. Yeah. All that going on, you'd have to be really into someone to find time to get away and visit them. Ladies, gents, fairies, and specialists, behold Sky, straight from Heraklion. Huh? <laughs> nice real swagger, Sky. Oh, it's so good to see you, Sky. I couldn't get here fast enough, Bloom. So, does that crown mean that? It means nothing. He's still our regular plain old Sky from Red Fountain. Specialist. Dude, bud. A bro. I'm happy you're all together again. I'm afraid it's already time to depart. The mission awaiting the Winxes is very important. I cannot be delayed any longer. Sorry, but Miss Farragonda is right. Get yourself ready again. The last fairy on Earth needs you and needs you now. Cheer up! You'll see each other soon enough, I'm sure of that. <clears throat> so, how did we do? I really hate lying to my girls, but they are going to need your help against the Wizards of the Black Circle. But after their defeat, you don't want them to lose any more confidence. We'll follow them, and when they need us, we'll be ready to knock those wizards down. I can't allow anything to get in the way of the success of this mission. Stay close to the girls, but far enough away so they don't know that you're there. The defeat the Wings suffer at the hands of the Wizards is still fresh, and I don't want them feeling I have anything but total confidence in them. I'm counting on you, gentlemen. I can't believe after all the battles we have been through, I actually have butterflies in my stomach. Maybe you're hungry. It's normal to be worried about facing the fairy hunters again. After hearing what horrible things they did to all those fairies on Earth, I'm nervous I too. I should be embarrassed about our fear. I mean, you can't have courage if you aren't kind of afraid to start. You guys want to know what I'm worried about? The Earth isn't exactly a small place. A fairy could be anywhere. Tecna, can't you build some kind of a pocket fairy finder or something? No, but I think I might know how to find out where on earth this last fairy is. Hey wait, those are the books of the library's restricted area. Sure are. How can you have access to those with your handheld? It's impossible to copy magic text without a password spell, Tecna. Let's just say Miss Farragonda trusts me enough to give me the password spell for all the archives of Elfia. And you once called me a teacher's pet. <laughs> Hey, wasn't that the Tree of Life? The Tree of what? The Tree of Life, we studied it in Professor Wisgus' class, remember?
Not really, but I bet Flora took notes. The tree of life is tied to all magic in the universe. Its root, branches, leaves, and buds are connected to every magical creature. So everyone magical has place on that tree. So a little less earth fairy. And where do we find this great leafopedia? It's in Wormwood Forest, in the tree village, which is guarded by some little friends of ours. What are we waiting for? Let's go have a chat with that tree. Up you go!